Along everybody, I took a risk actually, as whole Paul, of, of putting it out on uh, SB campus, uh, and you take a gamble with this sort of thing. But uh, I was guessing this sort of number would, uh, would, would would turn up, which is just about the the limit as far as health and safety are concerned. Don't you report me to Richard? <laughs> so it's just a, just about okay, uh, I think. And uh, we we thought it was appropriate and a bit of background behind the uh, the, the, the story uh, 76 years ago uh, today is actually DNA day 25th of April because today is the day uh, 70 years ago where the the famous Watson Crick paper was published in nature the discovery was made a few months earlier in in February uh, by the, the two of them, but it was April 25th, 1953, when the, uh, the paper was published, around the same time, believe it or not, as the, the coronation of, of Queen uh, Elizabeth. So yeah. it's an interesting sort of uh, uh, parallel, uh, really, really. But uh, everyone knows the, the Watson Crick double helical uh, model, of course. But not so well known, uh, and Rupert and myself have been trying to, uh, to, 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 to push this, is the fact that the discovery of the molecular glue or Velcro, which hold the two chains of the DNA molecule uh, together, the hydrogen bonds, was actually discovered in, in Nottingham, uh, when it used to be not Nottingham University, but uh, University College Nottingham because it was a college of the University of London. So if you got a PhD then, your PhD was actually a University of London uh, degree. And there was a group of scientists in the top floor of the, the Trent building, right on the far side. It's now Portuguese studies or, or, or something. But uh, right in the far corner used to be the nucleic acid laboratories of the Department of, of Chemistry. And there was a team there led by Professor J. M. Uh, Gulland, FRS. And there was him, there was uh, Professor, or then Dr. Dodge Jordan, who later moved to Adelaide and was part of this link now between you know, Adelaide and Rice Depp. But uh, there's a Jordan laboratory in Adelaide, which is part of the link we have now uh, with the University of Adelaide. So there was Gulland, Jordan, and a young PhD student, a guy called uh, Michael, Michael Creeth. And uh, I knew Mike Creeth uh, when I did a postdoc with him at the University of Bristol, working on mucus of all things. And in the tea room, uh, he told us a story of how uh, they, he was part of this team that discovered hydrogen bonds and in, 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 in DNA. And the way they, they did it, it was because uh, DNA has very high uh, viscosity. The solutions of DNA are very, very high viscosity. And they used uh, DNA of high purity from, from calf uh, thymus. They checked the purity with a fledgling technique known as the, uh, the analytical ultracentrifuge. So a single peak from the then Svedberg ultracentrifuge showed that what they were dealing with was a, a pure solution of, of DNA. Now DNA has a very high uh, viscosity, but what they found is that if you treated the solution with either high acid conditions or high alkali conditions, the viscosity of the solution dropped uh, dramatically. And that titration at high pH and low pH is symptomatic of the existence of hydrogen bonds. And this discometer, this beautiful piece of, uh, of, of, of glassware, actually belonged to, 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 to Michael Creeth. So using a simple technique of viscometry, uh, that was the definitive experiment which proved the existence of hydrogen bonds in DNA. And that was published in the Journal of the Chemical Society uh, Back in 1947, uh, Gullen, Creeth, and 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 Jordan, uh, but uh, Creeth was then writing up his PhD, and while he was doing that, he sketched his own own model, 
uh, for DNA uh, based on the uh, results. And uh, you can take a reprint of this uh, paper later on, which we uh, produced uh, a few years ago, which marked the seventh anniversary of the discovery of hydrogen bonds in, 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 in DNA. And in this thesis, there was a little sketch in the margins of how he thought, you know, you see that Buller pencil drawing uh, of two chains with bases uh, linked together. That was his model for DNA from 1947-1948. And then when we had the anniversary meeting uh, in 2017 for the discovery of hydrogen bonds in DNA, uh, we constructed our own model, and you need to move around to see this, our own model uh, for the for the Creeth, our own uh, version of the, 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 the Creeth model. And it was very close to the true structure of DNA. It had uh, two chains, correct. It had the sugar phosphate backbone on the outside, correct. It had the, the bases on the inside, correct, hydrogen bonded together. Uh, what they didn't have, of course, they didn't know the, the Chargraff rules. They didn't know which base linked with which other uh, base. They didn't know that. And, uh, of course, they didn't have the crystallography data from Rosalind Franklin. There was, there was no sort of uh, he helix. But it wasn't that far off uh, the the true uh, structure. And the interesting thing in sequel behind the story was that uh, when Creeth uh, got his PhD from the University of London, London that's right, in 1948, he applied to the College Science Laboratory in Cambridge, Free School Lane, which is right next door to the old Cavendish uh, labo laboratory for a postdoc. And uh, they, they wrote back saying, uh, we can't offer you a postdoc position, but we can offer you a PhD place. You know, hang on a minute, I've already got a PhD. Yeah, right. It's just like Cambridge saying, can we do a, a proper <laughs> PhD? Which Creed declined. He went to the uh, Court Health Institute in London uh, instead. But had he gone there, he would have been around when Watson and Crick were doing their stuff uh, a few years uh, late, later, so it's one of those cases of uh, what, uh, what 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 might have uh, been. So it's something we're we're quite proud of here, and we, we rightfully should be proud of at uh, at, at Nottingham. We played a part in the the great discovery by Watson and and Crick, and last year, Owen who I think you all know, who works in the, 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 the Mulberry, and is a big mate of Jacob and Vlad. Where's Vlad gone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so I didn't know this, but he's a, he's, he's, he's a great painter, and Vlad and Jacob uh, got him to paint this model, because I'm always on about it, uh, <laughs> for my, my birthday last year. <laughs> So he did it, and it was absolutely, well, we find out in a minute, because we didn't bail it. <laughs> absolutely uh, fan, 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 fantastic. And I suggested, why don't we have a sort of official mm -hmm. opening on, 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 on DNA Day? And I think we all thought this was a, a, a good idea. So it gives me great <laughs> pleasure to hand over now to Professor Paul Wilson, Head of School of Biosciences, and Owen who are going to <laughs> remove this. I don't know you've seen the, uh, the, the, the YouTube video of Prince Philip uh, unveiling disasters. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is what inspired us for this. So we're going to hand over to Paul and Owen now to right. unveil the ONEPS model, or ONEPS painting of the Cleef model for DNA. Well, thank you, Steve. Um, and I hope everybody was listening to your fascinating talk because I think there's an exam at the end. Um, <laughs> there's not a lot more I can say. Owen, oh, thank you very much for doing this. I'm fascinated to see what this looks like. Uh, and I'm, I'm just really excited, Steve, to be here, literally. 
in this part of history that you've just told us and now we've got this commissioned painting it's going to be great so owen let's just do the honors together should we because it looks like it needs a little bit of teamwork. a teamwork to get the uh cellar tape off to <laughs> unveil oh it's all right i'll hold it up at the top and then you can tell me when we're ready to go now, if you come yeah. this way, we'll get it all on. Yes. We'll get it yes. all on yeah. pictures. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. You count us down, Owen. In three, yeah. two, and one. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> With no expenses spurred plaque at no cost to the school of black sizes. <laughs> <laughs> you, should have, you should have asked me. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, because Owen's absolutely captured the essence. So this is his artist's impression of mm. the two chains and the uh, uh, the gaps with uh, beautiful colours, uh, mm. much beautiful than these. Uh, and the uh, colours as well. Uh, if you look, blue goes with green for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, this one goes with the yellow one. They represent the base pair mm. as well. So there's some science in there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So did you give the idea to Owen? Did you? We might have had a few iterations. So we did, no, we did, we yeah. did, and we kind of had to get it right. But it, as is the nature, and I was saying this earlier to someone, um, we just meant talking about it, with the nature of kind of fluid art and this type of painting, it's complete random chaos, to be honest. Getting it to do what you want it to do is really quite a difficult thing for the most part. So we kind of fiddled around, but got it to a point where it at least <laughs> vaguely resembles the 2D DNA structure. Yeah. yeah, no, quite. But, um, yeah, I think it come out nice and pretty. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's really just beautifully opposite this. So I think. Uh, yeah. uh, so once more, Owen. Mm. Many thanks. Yes. Oh, oh, very very welcome. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Very welcome. <laughs> you, you weren't uh, too embarrassed by this. Oh no, definitely. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, it's still, <laughs> still time. It's still time to play. <laughs>